Hey guys, what's up? How y'all doing? I'm here to talk to you guys about Kimichi no Yai, Kimichi no Yaiba Yukaku no Hen, or you can call it Demon, Demon Slayer's Kimichi no Yaiba Entertainment District Arc, which is on episode 4. Now, this episode right here was actually really simple, very nice. The ending right there must have been pre pretty crazy. Some people are not very satisfied right now because of the way how it's slow paced here and there. Though I think I may have an idea what they're coming from. I think it might be necessary for certain anime only watches, you know, so if anything else. Yeah, let's just get this started. Right here, right now. Okay, um we see that we see like um Oiran Konatsu, I believe. I think that's her name, right? Um Ko Koinatsu Oiran is actually a very nice person, you know. I thought she's uh, she's just putting up that kind of disguise to like um, hide her true facade or true personality, you know. But I guess she's a really good person deep down. I'm pretty sure Tanjiro would have sniffed something out of her and understand that she might be someone else and entirely, you know. Who knows? But that aside, Zenitsu or Zenko, how you want to call 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 him right now is missing. We have to it that Tanjo and Inosuke meet at the location on the rooftop and tell, telling each other what happened here and there. We have to it Uzui who feels remorseful and guilty to bring to bring Tanjo, Zenitsu and Inosuke in this and he tells Inosuke and Tanjo to leave, you know? The one who survives is the one who wins. So he ends up disappearing after that, which um, I understand with his concerns, but we all know how Tanjo and Inosuke are. We get to know that they're also Another, they're actually up another rank here and there, you know, which we get to know that they used to be Mizunoto, but now they're Kanoe, you know, which is pretty cool here and there. I'm glad they actually went up a rank after what they went through. I mean, like, um, they went through hell on the Mugen train, they went through rehabilitation, gotten stronger, and they then went to slay down some demons, you know, that kind of thing. I thought it was really slick here and there. And like I said, they ran into an upper three demon, although they couldn't do anything because, you know, etc. here and there. But as for everything else all considered, um, they end up having to talk about some plants here and there. Inosuke says, you gotta come over to my house right now because there's a demon there. But Tanjiro says, give me some time. I need to freaking like um, investigate my house a little further just in case. Inosuke's like, no you idiot, stop freaking thinking here and there. You know, he ends up having to pull Tanjiro's cheeks and, and play and ends up hitting him in a, not in a, Hitting him in annoyance, like saying, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. But Tanjo's like, okay, I get it, but let me take care of some things first. And after that, you know, um, let's just like um, meet up at your location and we'll head out, you know. Sadly, however, that did not become to be. And you guys might be saying, okay, what the hell are you talking about? I'll get to that in just a moment. Um, we had to it that um, Tanjo says his goodbyes to Konaitsu and tells her to give her give the person, the boss, the money and everything else. To like, um, just as a way to appreciate and thank you for everything, you know, that kind of thing. Sadly, however, she will, she will, she actually knew that Tanjo was a guy, you know, which I feel like, well, it's almost obvious from the get go, depending on the situation. But that aside, um, we have to it that Koinatsu says her goodbyes to Tanjo, and sadly and very unfortunately, when Tanjo says her goodbyes and leaves. Koinatsu gets later on kidnapped by Daki, which we all know what that means. The upper three ranked demon, and yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys know what that, what her meaning of that is. Tanju was a goal meet up was was going to meet up with Inosuke, but unsadly, thanks to his nose and senses, he goes like, "Ah, oh, crikey, you gotta be kidding me!" <laughs> and Inosuke being very mad and upset about this, you know. But not before we get to see Uzui having to interrogate one of the one of the boss managers of, of of the house, you know? He ends up asking simple questions about where, he, where Omitsu and, like, um, Zenko disappeared at, you know? That kind of thing. I thought it was pretty nice to see, like, Uzui threatened him and then he let go of that and tells him what he knows, you know? And that he believes that, that, that Daki, which she goes by another name, which I don't remember because Daki is easy to remember, is the one that's responsible for this. Uzui decides to go and investigate as fast as he can, you know? And... Etc. And like I said, um, Inosuke is upset about this, and he decides to ask the mice. And I looked at those muscled mice, man. I thought it was pretty cute and cool, and I thought it was pretty like uh, <laughs> off-putting for me. I'm like, what the hell is this? You know that kind of thing. But anyways, um, Inosuke is starting to take action too. So he decides to ask the mice to bring him his swords, and he and he gets ready to like him. Um, Go, go find the demon, you know? Even the woman's really shocked to see Inosuke, like, um, going crazy here and there with some swords. 
As for Tanjiro, he actually got the jump jump ahead with ahead of Uzui, which is pretty impressive, honestly. I think it's because, like I said, it's Tanjiro's nose. I could he could sense like foul and clean air upon people, you know, especially here and there, etc. But we have two Tanjiro finds the freaking district that seems to be so empty, like a ghost alley, you know, that kind of thing. That much I could tell you. That much I could give give much of what's going on here and there. But we had to a Tanjo meets up with the upper demon rank six Daki and he and he tells her, Hey, return Koinatsu and the others at once, you know? And Daki's like, I'm sorry, what the hell did you just say to me? And she she freaking like um punches punches or hits Tanjo with her Tanjo with her clothing and Tanjo ironically actually was numb all over his body. But he's able to get back to his get back his feeling and he, he has to put the box Nesco's box down because the shoulder strap broke, you know? No choice. I mean, what other <laughs> what other option do you have have in store, you know, that kind of thing. And we had to it Tanjo gets ready to go into action and clashes against Daki, you know? We had to it that he manages to actually cut one of her cloth her clothing cloth or clothing and manage to save Konaitsu. Now he has to go say now he's getting ready to clash against the upper ranks upper rank six upper rank six, which will be a little um Troubling for him because like him he has no choice, but he's gonna do it anyway. That's how that's how he is, you know, that kind of thing. And preview pre preview next episode, um what you mean call it? Things are gonna get real flashy, you know? And and that's about it. Anyways, I thought that I thought this um episode was pretty nice. I mean like him looked really simple, nothing much has happened, you know. All I could really tell you in simple order without a lot of detail and getting to the point. Tanjiro and Inosuke like a meet up in the daylight to talk about their situation. Uzui tells him, you guys gotta go, man. It's my fault for having to drag you guys in here and etc. But Inosuke and Tanjiro ignore those orders or ignore those orders and decide to go on their own way, you know. Tanjiro ends up giving his goodbyes to Konatsu, but Konatsu gets kidnapped by Daki. Daki, Tanjiro knows something is wrong. Inosuke goes into action with with Tanjo being very late, which I don't blame him for, and Uzui interrogating one of the boss managers who had Zenko under his house or in the house in his house, you know, in his business house whatsoever. And Uzui decides to go and investigate. Tanjo gets the early jump of the gun or early early bird gets the worm kind of thing and finds Daki and clashes against her. Sadly, however, he doesn't stand a chance, which we all know that, but he's still gonna fight anyway. Not like he has a choice, okay? But he managed to cut the cloth of Daki that had Kunatsu, but where are the others, you know? Because, looks like to me, and giving out a little small detail of Daki's cloth, it looks like to me she could absorb people into her cloth, like um, how she did with Kunatsu, you know? And maybe she did that with Zenitsu, and freaking like, um, whatchamacallit, um, and possibly Uzui Tengen's wives, you know? Yeah. Anyways, looking forward to like, um... Next episode, hopefully things will go good for Tanjiro because right now he's about to get into a fight for his life right now. I mean, it's scary enough that he he would not stand... It's scary enough of what an upper rank 3 demon can do. Although, I don't know what upper rank 6 is supposed to mean. I mean, it looks like the lowest of all like um, high ranking demons or upper demons, but we don't really know if that ranking is just a certain number just to like um, hide something else. Because we all know Daki, she killed 7 Hashira. That much is... That much is said and done. But who knows if she might have killed more down the line. But we'll have to see, you know. So until then, people, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day. And I'll see you guys next time, all right? Peace out. Bye-bye.